Hello, YouTube. Hello. We are here to talk about our adventure this weekend. Yep. We hiked a lot, and we hiked part of the Magahe Trail. So, what did Accurate. you think about it? Um, I think, as you guys will watch in our footage, um, that we had a um, longer journey than we thought we would. Yep. But, because of that, I think we had a lot more, like, valuable experience we did that we, we could definitely. take away from and that we can use in our future endeavors yep so we, we learned a lot yep so. um yeah but it was super cool to be like with other women that liked mm -hmm. being in nature and doing yeah like similar type of activity and right and yeah try, just pushing ourselves to be the best that we could be and learning about each other as well as ourselves it's yeah cool. and being self-sufficient out in the wilderness mm -hmm. you don't have anyone else to depend on but you and the people that you're with right yep so sit back relax and take a look at our journey this last weekend enjoy enjoy <laughs> hey everyone it is currently 4 25 and oh 4 30 according to sarah's um deep but we are heading off today to go to the Matahe Trail and we are going to do an overnight backpacking hike and it'll be about 20, 21 miles long. We're gonna hike out 10 miles to the river and then we're gonna hike 10 miles back tomorrow morning. So wish us luck. We have started our journey on the Matahe Trail. Heather and I are kind of in the second group here. <laughs> and then we have Emily and Sarah kind of looking ahead and, and seeing what's going on. But this is what we are seeing right now. So stay tuned for the next 10 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Yeah, take, two. take two. We are still waiting for our first calculation so I can make a milestone of my oh, mileage about in a three, day. Three miles total. Okay. Good. Yeah. So everyone, yes. I, they have not killed me yet, but the day is <laughs> morning young. is young, day is young. Mm -hmm. Long day like and off they go. Oh, what, down, like, huh? Like, long day. It'll be fine. Nothing but time, yeah. right? Right. How are you feeling, Heather? Pretty good. What about you? Good. Emily? Good. I'm feeling amazing. All right. Here we go. Hey, everyone. Jamie here. We have now gone about, I think we're like four and a half miles in. Um, we did have a slight detour that Sarah may have mentioned, but we are back on track and we are headed to the river. It is about 10 a.m. and the sun is shining and the birds are singing and we are still very optimistic and our feet do not hurt yet. So we are ready to carry on and keep on trekking. Check in soon. Thank you. We've now gone about 2.3 miles into our journey, but 6.7 miles on the day. How's everyone doing? Wonderful. All hanging in there? Yep. I think we're we're gonna make it. Devil's Pass is coming up in a little bit, so uh -huh. about a mile. We're good. We got it. All right, let's do it. Woo. So Sarah, hello. I see our friend has a new accessory. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Want to talk well, about it? <laughs> I will. I think I finally. I'm not angry anymore. So he, we were on the trail. A lot of people bike the trail. As we talked about earlier, a family went by on their bike and he was fine. We were looking at the map and Emily goes, you need to, do you want to get moose? Hmm. Him, oh, he took off at a run, his little pack flapping in the wind, running down the trail. After who, I don't know, the bike, the people on the bike, I don't know. I yell at him, 
He comes back. We look at the map again. I pick my head up and he is gone again. Just in the dust. Big old cloud of dust. Freaking ears are flapping. Pack is flapping. And now he's in prison. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned to see if Moose gets out of prison. And gets on parole. And gets on parole. Or if he's gonna be in the dog house the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Hey everyone, just a quick update of our hike so far today. Um, we are just about two miles past, so stay tuned. About eight and a half miles in, feeling good, and we are going to keep on trekking. And then on the other side of Devil's Pass is the river. So sometimes you gotta go through hell to get to heaven, so let's get it everyone. Hope you're having a great Saturday. you guys know that we just finished a little bit ago and set up camp our oh look at my backfire you're good oh it's windy so what are you gonna do it's, yeah. it's great um we just finished our 12 hour day of hiking <laughs> and uh 15.2 miles we went today and um it was like almost 38,000 steps and we cl climbed like 58 floors. So now we get to enjoy all of our surroundings. And who knew that we would have a nice beach? Yeah, beach as our campsite. So, Nodak beach. yeah, Nodak Beach. So, we're just winding down and getting ready for the evening. Stay tuned to see more from our trip. Bye. Day one was finished at this point of the trip. Yep. And um, I don't know. What do you think of day one? How'd it go? I loved it. It went longer than what we had thought, mm -hmm. partly due to my fault. That's Little right. detour, but... Great should, views. Yeah. Yep. The Beaver Dam. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, we... Took the little detour. We got to see the North Dakota state flower, mm -hmm. which was what? I don't know. It was cool. It was pink. You know, <laughs> pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did that. We went to the pinks. Well, you should. Okay. I will. Isn't it like the Dakota Rose? No. I'll start with an M. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? You guys, there are some times when I really test my intelligence. And we were in the prairie, in the gas lane. <laughs> gas lanes. <laughs> oh, that was what you were in. I was in the gas lanes. <laughs> um, but we were in the prairie, and so the North Dakota state flower is the prairie rose. Oh. So you got the rose right. I did. But what did you say before that? The Dakota Rose. Dakota Rose. So, I mean, like, potato, potato, it's fine. Not, but does it begin with an M? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no M. No M in potato. Er <laughs> <laughs> no M in prairie, prairie Rose. <laughs> we went to mm -hmm. Devil's Pass, which we were 
Well, I was anticipating a very high incline. We did not <laughs> have a high incline. The picture was deceiving online, though, for real, because I saw it, and I'm the like... The topo map. <laughs> <laughs> this freaking girl on topo map. Topo. <laughs> Sounds like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It is a topographic map, but do you call it a topo map for short? Comment below, Team Topo... Team Topo graphic map. <laughs> Topo. She also says Caddy Corner, you guys. So, like, can you... Can yeah, you Caddy in? Corner. Team Caddy Corner. Comment below. Diagonal. Like, why would you say <laughs> Caddy Corner? Caddy Corner reminds me of, like, a shower caddy. I don't know. It freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Okay, anyways. Follow along here is part two of our video. Do we make it out alive? <laughs> well, considering we're here, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we might have made it. But did, did we our minds? Did all of us make it out alive? Uh, <laughs> into the woods I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Oh, what's that from? Google it. <laughs> Comment down below if you know who that's by. I might have the wording wrong. Into the Forest I Go to Lose My Mind and Find My Soul by John Muir. I really like it, but I don't know a lot about it. <laughs> hmm. Look, you can get a shirt. So, should we... <laughs> oh, Cool. Anyway, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We made it out alive. We made it out alive. Did Heather? Did Emily? Did Moose? Mm -hmm. Did Bridger? Oh, They all did. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler there! <No. laughs> oh my gosh, anyway, you guys. Wish us luck. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone. So, we made it through the evening. Set up camp and everything went swimmingly. We didn't take any footage because we were all so exhausted. Um, but now I am going to be filling up my water with the lovely river water. And then I will be using a sturdy pen to get rid of the bacteria and then hopefully have some water for today along with the remaining water that I have from yesterday that is in my camel pack. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, stay tuned. Here we go. We're all packed up. Our campsite has been cleared and we are heading back to the car about 10 miles. So Here we're all we feeling good. Let's get it. Yep. to go and we're still trucking along so stay tuned and see how we are doing check in soon bye
again another day. Okay. All right, is that on you or me? Oh. Hello. Hey, everyone. We are 9.8 miles in yeah. on our way back. And we are just kind of sitting in the shade for a minute. It got really hot. Um, Heather was talking to some horseback riders back there, so we're waiting for her to catch up. And then we're just kind of enjoying the view. Look at this, you found like a mini pride rock. Any Lion King fans out there? It's Tuna pretty badass. Matata. Yeah, who's doing the Matata? <laughs> so, yep. anyways, um, we are 0.2 miles away from the car. That's crazy. Yeah. I know, right? Ooh. Like, who, who would have thought, right? So. Very happy. And um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we were talking about it a little a few minutes ago. Like, this is my first like backpacking adventure in North Dakota. I mean, why not start off with a big one? I guess, because <laughs> um, yeah, once we're finished, we'll have gone 25 to almost 26 miles in two days. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed it. What do you think, Sarah? How's your experience been this weekend? Oh, good. I feel accomplished. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. hi, <laughs> most things. Hi, baby. Um, good to be out in God's country and on public land and be with people who you care about. I mean, right. what a better way to, you know, have the weekend. Yeah. And it's just been, there's been a lot of tough times I think this weekend oh, as far definitely. as like mentally and physically yep. I know like we have some blisters that we'll probably be showcasing we have a lot yep um and that's with the right gear you know yeah um we just have to stop having such princess feet I know right <laughs> we need to do it more often and right then we'll toughen up yep build up some calluses I was telling showing Sarah actually I was like look at this like I used to have calluses here from soccer and then like literally <laughs> after a day of hiking like right. some spots just tough and dried up mm -hmm. and other parts were like oh no so <laughs> it's interesting how your body can react to things but you know what the the part that gets you over it is you so <laughs> you just gotta remember to believe in yourself and do your thing and things things will happen you just gotta you know take it one step at a time so yeah all right any other words before we get to the car and I am ready for a burger. Oh yeah. How many calories do you think we burned this weekend? Because I'm gonna no wear my I know I don't Apple have watch a, or anything. I don't know. A lot. I I mean at least ten thousand calories. Oh yeah. A day. You know, and then we ate light meals for dinner. Yeah. And passed out and light breakfast and light lunch and yep. hi buddy. Um and yeah, now we're just, we're getting ready to hit the road. I think some, yeah, a burger is definitely in my future. Oh, yeah. here comes Heather. All right, well, stay tuned everyone, and we will see you in about 0.2 miles. All right? All right, <laughs> bye. Bye. All right, everyone, we did it. Woo we did it. Almost <laughs> sleepy. Heather. We put in the work. We got the result we wanted, which was to hike to the Missouri River right. and back yeah. from, you know, the beautiful Meg state Pike of, campground. Yeah, Meg Pike, yeah. Meg the Pike campground. Meg Pike campground. Yep, the National Grassland and the U.S. Department of Ag. Thank you so much for keeping this place nice and public land yep we appreciate all the volunteers that made our trip easier by you know maintaining, mark, maintaining yeah, yeah marking the trails maintaining it and and um and doing your your good works so we appreciate you and and we look forward to our next adventure so signing off for the bullets and bows Plus our wonderful guests. Plus neighbor and moose. Yep. <laughs> Heather and moose. Yep. All right. Stay tuned for our next video to see our next adventure. Bye. Bye. So, what did you all think? Did you enjoy our adventure? Did you... Fuck me. <laughs> um, what did you guys think? Like, feedback? 
criticisms, critiques, comments, questions, anything? Would you like to see any more? Right. Of, you know, did you, would you want to see more of actual camp setup or what was in our pack? What would you be interested in? Right. And the whole focus of our YouTube channel is to um, gear it towards you guys. So you have to tell us what we uh, can do or show you guys um, or experience to kind of give you an idea of what you'd be getting yourself into. Right. Definitely. Um, because, yeah, like this weekend was our first experience camping together. Yep. And backpacking together. together. With Heather. <laughs> and moose and um hiking with emily and just sharing new experiences with friends and so it was really cool and a, and a great learning experience and i think that um it really got us out of our comfort zone and mm -hmm. um i know we had talked about like being courageous and brave and how like it really is yes, it yep. is it's a scary thing to go out there and, then, and literally like the only way you can get out is by like helicopter at times so right yeah you're on your own <laughs> yeah if you hike in you have to hike out Right. No one is going to come and get you because mm -hmm. you are in the wilderness. You're in the back country. And that is what being a wild woman is all about. Right. Being able to share everything and, you know, in, enjoy it with people who you care about. Right. So embrace your wild. Yeah. I because like we are not meant to be tamed. Okay. Can't okay. Be tamed. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah. So be sure to like this video. Um, like we said, comment, give us any mm -hmm. feedback, and then um, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the bullets and bows. All right, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>